All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Peter Renna, writer of Dollar Bin Digging over at ComicBookInvest.com, back with another new video, as well as article dropping on the site this Friday for your Dollar Bin Digging picks. Now, uh, hopefully you're liking the new format, because um, instead of me just sitting here flashing a bunch of books uh, for like 20 minutes, I figured uh, I put together a nice little presentation for you. Hopefully you're enjoying it so I can you know, talk about the books that I want to cover in the article, as well as kind of branch out with some rationale and reasonings and some other books you might want to keep an eye out for. Now, uh, I'm going to continue on with my uh, series covering the upcoming Disney Plus shows. So, uh, again, if you're not reading comicbookinvest.com, do yourself a favor. You know, check out the link below and uh, go check out all the fun articles that we got over there. From True First to Cover Tunes to Cover Fire to the new Comic Book Day pull list to the Wednesday one to Walker's you know picks every Monday. Tons of good stuff, tons of free content from all the great lists like the Star Wars list and the G.I. Joe list that uh, Ben C. has been giving us. So please do yourself a favor. Go check out the site for not only my stuff, but stuff the other guys are doing as well, because it's all fantastic. So without further ado, let's uh, see what we got going this week. All right. That said, hopefully my uh, too tight T-shirt didn't tip it off a little uh, too much. Last week I did WandaVision, as that should be dropping in about a week or so onto Disney+. Plus. Now, this Falcon and Winter Soldier will be the next show that uh, they will be delivering us, I believe, sometime in March, uh, once WandaVision is all wrapped up. So I figured now is a good, good a time as any to let's uh, take a look at uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier and what books that uh, you might be able to still find on the cheap or might be able to find uh, once again. So... Without further ado, let's check it out. Now, my first pick is sitting right here. This is Captain America 312. This is the first appearance of the uh, first Flag Smasher. Now, there's some rumors that uh, there's a terrorist organization or group uh, that's you know going to be a part of this uh, upcoming series with Falcon and Winter Soldier. And uh, rumors may be that maybe it'll be called Flag Smashers or something to that effect. But maybe there will be a character themselves that uh, takes that monitor and uh, runs with it. Uh, another thing, considering that uh, concept of uh, Flag Smasher's uh, organization, another book you might want to keep an eye out for is issue 321, which is a few uh, issues after this one. This entire run it has become popular lately because ever since we knew U.S. Agent uh, was going to be on this show, a lot of people have been picking up this run uh, because of that. So some of these issues uh, may be hard to find, may not be easy to find for a buck, but it doesn't hurt to keep an eye out for it. These aren't the big or the bigger keys with the first John Walker's and uh, first, you know, John Walker's cap or USA agent or anything like that. These are a bit you know, a bit on the lower end, but still something that you might want to you know keep an eye out for because I still find a lot of cap books in those bins when I'm out there digging. So uh, you might still too. So that 321 is uh, the first ultimatum, which is a team that they might not team, but uh, organization that they might actually be, you know, kind of a, doing an amalgam of uh, Flag Smasher and uh, this team, you know, as being, you know, maybe not the big bad, but maybe uh, a running through line of uh, villains through this series. Maybe they're being, uh, maybe they're going to, again, be headed up by Flag Smasher as they were in the comics, or maybe the, you know, Daniel Brule's uh, Zemo may be behind it, or maybe there's somebody else that we don't know yet, a big surprise coming. I don't know. But 312 and 321, while you're at are both good books to keep an eye out for uh, while you're flipping through those boxes. So to that, let's see what our number two pick is going to be. And for our second pick, uh, this is also uh, a Flag Smasher, but this is the second uh, version of the character. Uh, another guy takes over the moniker of Flag Smasher, and this happens in Young Avengers and Runaways uh, uh, Civil War. Uh, miniseries uh, issue one. Now I've seen these a ton in the bins, like these uh, ancillary uh, miniseries that go along with these uh, Marvel big events, a lot of times find their ways into the uh, dollar bin. So this is one I have found in that uh, cheap bin. As you can see, this is just another guy. I can't think of the uh, his actual name right now, but he he eventually takes on this, uh, the moniker of Flag Smasher here. You can see a very similar look. He's got the mace just like the original. So who knows which version we may get on the show, if any. I mean, this is just pure guessing and speculation of my, on my part. So it's just something to keep an eye out for. It's a cheap book. It's uh, worth taking a flyer on if you find it because uh, what do you got to lose a dollar? You know, it's only a buck. You can do worse. So there's just something to keep an eye out for. Just in that idea of Flag Smasher, might as well look for the other Flag Smasher too so you don't get caught, uh, you know, missing the boat because you, you know, 
hitched your wagon to the wrong one. Uh, almost like that Taskmaster, which we still have yet to see uh, coming on uh, Black Widow. But that was my second pick, which will take us to number three. Now, number three, uh, I'm going to preface this by saying that this book has become uh, pretty hot. So... Hopefully you enjoyed that little graphic that I decided to drop in there, but this book has heated up quite a bit. If you look, this was like a dollar, you know, two dollar book, even online, just a, less than a week ago. And then after a few days, uh, speculation over Ricky Barnes possibly showing up onto the show has driven this Nomad series, Girl Without a World, uh, to, you know, much higher prices. So you see these hitting like 30 bucks or so uh, for these individual books. So it's just something to keep, definitely keep an eye out for because this is that kind of weird mini series that there are not a lot of them out there, but you might be able to find them in those boxes because no one paid attention to this until, you know, just now. So online, it might be a tough ask to find this on the cheap, but there's a lot of shops out there and a lot of boxes. People aren't keeping up to date with Nomad uh, to know to go pull all of them. So you may find yourself lucky if you can find it. It's like a four issue mini series, I think. Uh, any one of them are good, but I really dig this uh, this first cover. Uh, you know, this the cover for the first issue because it's just a uh, really cool with the color scheme. You know, very patriotic, but uh, I love the red against that blue. But with this book, that's not only heating up. A lot of people have been gravitating towards this Captain America number one, that Heroes Were Born, where Rob Liefeld took over, and I just, I there's tons, tons of them in, in the boxes. So this is won't be hard to find uh, in those dollar bins, and that's where it belongs because I'm just not a fan of this. It's just, it's just not for me. I, I didn't like it at the time. I don't like it now. And uh, yeah, this book has two covers. I don't really care much for either of them. Uh, they just, I don't know. Just I didn't like it. I didn't even like the changes that the cha taking the A off his head and putting that weird eagle. Just I don't know. It just still rubs me the wrong way even to this day. But a lot of people are picking this up as her first appearance because she does show up for a couple of panels, uh, a couple of pages, I believe. I think it was like two, maybe three pages, uh, not in costume, just uh, as a uh, Ricky Barnes uh, character. And I think she's just chilling out there on a stoop, which, I mean, it's an appearance, but I don't know if I would buy into this for her first appearance because she's not costumed up. And not only that, this didn't come first. Before this, the wizard, you know, wizard one half, actually showed up first, I believe. And in there, you get a couple of pages as well. They're not story pages per se. It's a preview, but they are pages with some comic book text, you know, introducing her as a character. Uh, she's there with other characters. It is what it is. Just as many pages in that Cap 1, and this comes out before Captain America. This was a preview, basically. They were kind of teasing the Heroes Reborn uh, series coming up. So, just keep an eye out for that Wizard Reborn. Uh, the one I showed there, I think, was the Platinum one, which has a foil. You might find that, but there's also a regular edition, too, that you could have mailed away uh, in the Wizard to get this, I believe. Or was this an insert? I, I got to double check, but uh, this is that Wizard a Wizard one half book. So just, again, another book to keep an eye out for. So if you're interested and are betting on Ricky Barnes, uh, those are a couple of the books you might want to be uh, keeping an eye out for in the box. So that leaves us with only one left. So... Let's see what we got for our final pick. Uh, and for this, just throwing this out here, out there, not saying that we're going to see this character in the series at any point. It's uh, a, yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll get a follow up, a sequel, or a spin off of some kind. You know, following Falcon. And uh, in this, we actually get the introduction in Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America three, uh, to the new Falcon, who becomes a. Uh, Sam Wilson's sidekick and becomes the Falcon and this, you know, Joaquin, he actually is like a Falcon, like boy, like he's a, like a mutated Falcon person. Now you, there is an appearance in the first issue of Sam Wilson, uh, Captain America, number one, but this is, a, I can even stretch to call this a cameo. I mean, this is a picture in a panel that's just shown of, of you know, a lady showing her grandson. Like this is it, this little, you know, blow up of that one little panel it's his appearance in issue one. So I wouldn't say that this is his first appearance. And not I don't even know if I can call it a cameo, but there he is. He, he pops up, he shows up there in issue one. But in issue three, uh, here, which is my pick, I mean, apart from getting a pretty cool uh Cap Wolf story, because I mean, who doesn't love a Cap Wolf story? Uh, you can see we actually do get, you know, the first looks at the character and see that he's like a falcon boy there. He's mutated and pulls, you know, comes out of this uh cryogenic chamber or whatever you want to call it, just like Cap Wolf. And uh yeah, so there would be his introduction. 
Uh, issue five of this same series had this pretty cool cover with the new Falcon being introduced. And I know that heated up when it first uh, came out. So I keep an eye out for that if it, find it found its way back in the boxes. Uh, but it really, despite that cover, it's not until the sixth issue. Uh, so even though he shows up inside of it, uh, it's not until the, until the sixth issue where he actually suits up and, uh, you know, you see some more action from him. But he suits up and actually becomes, you know, the Falcon uh, uh, to follow up. Uh, Sam Wilson's cap, and he kind of goes back to that green color scheme uh, outfit that the uh, Falcon originally had, which I think is pretty cool. Nice little uh, tip of the cap, little homage to the uh, original, the OG, since the OG is now, uh, at least of this series, uh, Captain America. So those are my picks for just some things you should keep an eye out for uh, related to Falcon and uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to this series. Uh, I think this one's going to be a lot of fun. I, I love a good uh, buddy team up. I'm a big fan of the Lethal Weapon, Last Boy Counts type series, and not just Shane Black written stuff, but just I just love the uh, you know, the buddy dynamic. And I did enjoy these two, their banter in Civil War, uh, basically trying to uh, one up each other to who's you know, Steve's best friend, which I, don't know, I thought it was pretty fun. So I look forward to more of that and some of them playing off of each other for this series, as well as. Uh, I like Zemo. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just like purple. I, I really dug this character as a kid, and I still dig him. He's just I realize he's just wearing a purple ski mask. And uh, I just Secret Wars figure was one of my favorites as a kid, you know, playing around with. So this is one of my villains. I just enjoyed the look of him. So I'm looking forward to seeing Zemo again and now with the mask. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, please like and subscribe comment tell me what you like what you don't like any suggestions i'm uh, free and open to it and uh yeah well see you all next time